Trump dismisses need for climate change action, we have the cleanest water we've ever had, we have the cleanest air. Here's a summary of the article. Donald Trump has again dismissed the need to tackle climate change by saying the U.S. has the cleanest air and water ever. We have the cleanest water we have ever had, we have the cleanest air we've ever had, but I'm not willing to sacrifice the tremendous power of what we've built up over a long period of time and what I've enhanced and revived, he said. Wind doesn't work for the most part without subsidy. The United States is paying tremendous amounts of subsidies for wind. I don't like it, I don't like it. Defending his decision to withdraw the U.S. from the Paris Climate Accord, Mr. Trump denied he was ignoring the problem but claimed that trying to take action on global warming would affect the American economy. The president has previously described climate change as a hoax and dismissed the problem as a change in the weather. In previous interviews and on campaign rallies he has claimed the U.S. has among the cleanest climates. Earlier this week Vice President Mike Pence, when asked if climate change was a threat, said, America has the cleanest air and water in the world. This post received a score of 77,007, with an upvote ratio of 85%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Pretty sure we just had an air pollution warning in Ohio yesterday. Was the air, dot too clean. But wasn't it the best warning you've ever seen? Very big warning, very impressive. We have the smartest people, and they told me this was the biggest warning they have seen, maybe the biggest warning ever. This truck driver came to me, very big guy, huge. And he started crying, it was the most beautiful warning he had ever witnessed. Crooked Hillary never had these kind of warnings. Edit, wow, my first Reddit gold and silver. Thank you kind strangers. These are the best gems I've ever seen. Bigly. I'm not even American and I would believe he said that if I didn't have the internet to cross-reference. Found this very hilarious. Not hilarious if you live in America and have to live this hell. Skeptical smiley face. Oh we're all together in this hell my friend. All of us. Climate is not specific to the US. But it's especially horrifying to watch our president doing it. Hopefully we do better next time. Oh it's horrifying indeed I'm sure. But 22 sexual abuse accusations including minors later, along with a plethora of other things, the guy is still walking around as POTUS, continuing his massively embarrassing tenure and running for a second term. I can only imagine what I'd feel if I was an American. As an American, this quote stays with me a lot. One of the saddest lessons of history is this, if we've been bamboozled long enough, we tend to reject any evidence of the bamboozle. We're no longer interested in finding out the truth. The bamboozle has captured us. It's simply too painful to acknowledge, even to ourselves, that we've been taken. Once you give a charlatan power over you, you almost never get it back. So the old bamboozles tend to persist as the new ones rise. Carl Sagan. Wonder if there will be some court held to punish those that ruin the planet in such an insane manner. By the time there is enough political will for something like that to exist, the worst of the perpetrators will be long dead. Pretty sure that's what they're all banking on happening. Literally banking on happening. When reading Trump speech transcripts, you realize he cannot form coherent, well thought out and complete sentences. Instead of completing his entire point, he throws out buzzwords as if people can fill the gap to his thoughts. Almost reminds me of Bumblebee from Transformers. He also never says anything of substance. Biggest numbers, numbers you wouldn't believe. The best deal you could dream of. You'll love how good this deal is, etc. He knows nothing about anything he talks about and has to lean on buzzwords and umbrella terms to even talk about many subjects. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.